Hello everybody and welcome to Naomi's All Inclusive World where we talk matters, disabilities and just what is not a disability, what we need to know about the disabilities that happen to us or our family members and so on so that then we can just walk in information because guys like they say information is power and good information at that is power. Lots of things uh, happen to our bodies um that we either could do without or can just ignore and life goes on or maybe we can't do much about either at the stage where we are born or we just develop as we go along you know and and and, and so on and just some might bother us some don't but really that's just how life is there is just never i think uh such a word as just someone being perfect there is always something i'm lacking or something i have too much of you know or, or something that i wish I, I i didn't completely have you know and so on and one of one of the, the things i like you know saying a lot is is uh, and I've, I've met quite a number of people go like oh i just wish i was i was dark like you and i always have this joke oh i think i just was given a lot enough melanin maybe i was given my melanin on a monday when the stock was was fresh and you know it was full and so on so you realize some somebody somewhere feels like oh i wish i was just a little darker like naomi or i wish i was just a little lighter like someone else i wish i was just a little taller than i am a little short you know and so on I wish I had my hair was just was as dark as Naomi's or was as thick as this. You know, we always have something that we either may or may not have control over. And one of the, the things, one of the issues that uh, I want to talk about today that, that it has affects us or affects a parent somewhere because their kid has, has or has developed it here and there, that they really need to be aware of and really just sit back and not worry too much about is a protruding nerve or like they call it in other words umbilical hernia now umbilical hernia uh, in the simplest of language is just that um that that protruding uh novel where you it's visible you can see that it's protruding because of the size and uh, this hernia occurs when part of someone's intestines actually bulge through the opening in the abdominal muscles near your belly button near your novel area excuse me umbilical hernias apparently are fairly common and typically harmless so this especially I need to emphasize to parents who probably might have a kid uh, who has this particular issue or condition, you need to know that typically they are harmless. So that then the choice of whether or not you will want it to say, for example, be medically corrected should be just because you feel like your kid will have more confidence and you know something like that if it's done away with but not because it is threatening their health now umbilical hernias are most common in infants yeah, in kids but they can also affect adults they can also affect grown-ups you know in adults factors that can contribute to one having an umbilical hernia will be things like you know being overweight you know and also straining while lifting or moving some heavy objects that pressure you 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 put on your body and especially now that around the novel area since it's very soft can actually result in you having umbilical hernia if it's an adult but mostly mostly uh, we see it a lot in infants where I'm total after a certain age you expect that you know that they the umbilical area will just you know go in and be flat as flat as possible but it doesn't and so on but again i need to emphasize again and again it is typically harmless now the only way uh, we can repair a, a protruding um, novel um, will be actually through a procedure a surgical procedure um where it will help push the sac back into into its area and strengthen that 
that wall, that area around that. So yes, there is not another medically or safe way of correcting this protrusion apart from it being surgically removed. If you, if you really, really need to, do that either for yourself or for your kid. Now you cannot push the hernia back into a place with gentle pressure when you're lying down. So don't think maybe when you lie down on your back, you know, or if you do certain exercises or someone pushes it back, like when you're lying down, it can go, but no. It either will stay with you there, or you have it medically, surgically removed. Okay. I just thought of I needed to share this because this is this is one issue that that can affect anyone either personally or family wise. So it will help if we know just this particular knowledge about um, umbilical hernia. Hi 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 na madara yote kwa afya jamani kwa mtoto. So kama mtoto atakuwa kona hii kitovu kikubwa kinaonekana usikuwe na wasiwasi unless you really think it's working on that baby's self esteem. You know, you really do not have to medically worry that maybe it will affect the kids, um, the kids' health. Now, the other reason I really needed to share this so that we can know this information is, please avoid making fun of the family member who happens to have this umbilical uh, hernia, because um, depending with the age this person is, it might actually work on my self-esteem. You know, for you teachers who will be watching this channel, try to make it um, known to other students in school that please don't don't make fun of your colleague or, or of your fellow student about their protruding hernia, uh, their protruding navel. You know, don't play and want to touch on it. That area is very soft and really any pressure on it is enough to irritate that area. So you see, that's why we need to share such information. You might think you're being light on it. You might think, you know, it's nothing much. And what they touch it and so on. And that is actually what might cause an infection as well. Um, umbilical hernias happen to infants majorly across, whether it's watoto or Asia or Africa or Zungu or what, it just happens across. So in case this comes your way, now you know what to do. Okay, but and, and I just need to emphasize umbilical hernia has nothing, it's not witchcraft, it's not machombaya. You know the things we believe about some of these things. You know, and such like things. Those myths that really do not have basis. No, this actually is, is something that you just need to know that one really is not threatening your health or your child's health number. You should you really want it done away with you can have it surgically you know corrected and flattened okay yeah that's what i had for this particular one i just hope it jogs your mind that helps somebody somewhere and yeah let's keep sharing this information sometimes it might be as little as you know umbilical hernia but then knowing what to do about it knowing having information about it really helps and goes a long way because I might not necessarily be the one having the condition but my kid might have or my neighbor's kid or if I'm a teacher, you know, one of the students in school might have that and so on. And it will help for me to just spread the good information so that then while the kids are playing, they don't end up hurting another kid's, you know, emotions and feelings and self-esteem. Number two, hurting the baby physically without knowing. So yeah, guys, information, good information is very very important thanks for your time i'll see you in my next episode and in the meantime do not forget to like share and subscribe and uh yeah especially if you're my first timer and for my returning subscribers asante sana thank you for tagging along with me thank you for always viewing uh you know watching throwing me that comment i always look forward to reading what you think you know what experience have you had about this you know do you know do you have any family member or is it yourself who actually has an umbilical hernia did you even know it's called an umbilical hernia you know i'm sure there's something probably you have learned or you knew that now you know better you know share with me let me know let me know if this is helpful that also really motivates me to keep just reading and sharing these things because yeah this is the only way we can make our society better by just replacing the myths and the misconceptions and the hearsays with proper information so thank you for your time and i'll see you in my next episode bye for now